Next category is hepatitis C. Um, and Cevic and Victrellis are two drugs that you've approved. And again, a huge unmet need. And uh, maybe you can summarize 30,000 foot overview. Are these first line therapy drugs? Or are they meant to be replacing other therapies or used in addition to them? So give us a brief summary of the label, please, on those. Well, we hope these are going to be game changing drugs for people with hepatitis C. And there are several ways to use them, but they can be used in conjunction with standard therapy for hepatitis C and potentially even shorten the duration of treatment mm -hmm. um, based on the viral response. And what we're seeing with these drugs is a magnitude of viral response that we think will project into cure, you know, total virological response. We haven't response. seen that before? Or We've no? seen it before, but not at this level. So Can you this give us the numbers like these new hep C drugs? Uh, a cure is called, in the medical terms, an SVR, sustained viral, viral response. How much more effective are the, these new drugs compared to the old way of treating? Well, many uh, tens of percentages mm -hmm. more effective, a larger percent of sustained virologic response, which we certainly hope and most people believe will translate into permanent cure. And uh, were these by chance that came around in 2011 just because a new molecule that finally worked happened, or is there any design or other aspects that maybe you can talk about there? Well, I think companies are often working on targets as they become available, and then uh, drugs that attack that target come through the pipeline. Mm -hmm. And we may see a group of drugs uh, in short succession that are, um, are uh, similar. Mm -hmm. Okay. 